Tune to CSF Cable Channel 3, the Community Schools of Frankfurt. I'm Steve Orr along with Greg Davis. And uh, Greg, right now we're going to go to Martin Henderson for the starting line of tonight's nice ball game. Number five, Mr. from Lebanon. He's here. Number two, Brent Paddock of Zionsville. Number eight, Kyle Coons of Zionsville. Number six, Jay Schultz from Zionsville. And number 10, Mike Van Marder from Zionsville. The coaches, Charles Jones of Zionsville, assisted by Shane Caldwell of Zionsville and Ed Hunter. Now may we present to you the Clinton County All-Stars. From Clinton Prairie, number five, Brad Cook. From Frankfurt, number eight, Brian Goodwin. From Clinton Central, number two, Laird Hunt. Over to my far right is Pat Kersey from Frankfurt, number six. From Clinton Central, number nine, Brian Newton. From Clinton Prairie, number three, Matt Roberts. Number 10, Dick Royer from Frankfurt. Number seven, Richie Smith from Clinton Central. From Rossville, number four, Lance Besser. And finally, from Clinton Prairie, number 11, Steve Wolf. The coach of the Clinton County All-Stars, John Slavert, assisted by Rex Smith, Rex Bowman, and also assisted by Rick Fields. The Clinton County All-Stars. There you have it, the Clinton County All-Stars. Ready okay, for game action like here. We'll be playing eight-minute quarters, and, and following that, we Steve have sort of has a the colors and the singing of the national here. anthem. We'll pause for the this is the Optimus Creed. Promise yourself to be so strong that nothing can disturb your peace of mind. To talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person you meet. To make all your friends feel that there is something in them. To look at the sunny side of everything and make your optimism come true to think only the best, to work only for the best, and to expect only the best. To be just enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own. To forget the mistakes of the past and press on to greater achievements of the future. To wear a cheerful countenance at all times and give every living creature you meet a smile. To give so much time to the improvement of yourself that you have no time to criticize others. To be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to admit the presence of trouble. Thank you. Now, now the presentation of the colors.
There it is, the national anthem, sung by Mr. A.E. Percival. Did a really good job there. Getting back to the story, Steve, uh, what happened in the pregame? Well, uh, Greg, uh, they had a problem over here on the right goal where uh, uh, Clinton County, Clinton County All-Stars got a little bit carried away, and Brian Goodwin and Brad Cook and company kind of pulled down the rim over here, and they had, to have, they had a little bit of problem. A little bit of slam, bam, jam <laughs> action, I'd say. We might see a little bit more of that uh, yeah. as the night goes on, wouldn't you say, Steve? I don't know, but Brian Goodwin had to get up on a ladder and pull that rim back up, and I think it's back to where it's supposed to be. And a little bit of confusion there at the beginning of this ball game. Well, looks like we're getting to the start of the game. We'll send it over to Steve Warren for play-by-play -play action. Okay, Greg, starting for the Clinton County All-Stars, Brian Newton, number nine, Laird Hunt, no, Brad Cook jumping, Brian Goodwin, Dick Royer, and Richie Smith. Jeff Linton jumping for the Boone County All-Stars. The tip is taken by number six, Schultz. He passes off to Brent Paddock, number two from Zionsville. Clinton County All-Stars in a man-to-man. In -man. They're going to call walking in the lane. And we might want to remind folks that we're seeing a three-point play tonight. It's the extended line. I think it might be used a little bit more in this game than in the first game, Greg. Uh, I think you're right on that one for sure. Bring up the balls. Richie Smith, he comes off the right side, puts up a 15-footer. Off the back of the rim, no good. Brian Gouin fights for the rebound inside, puts it up. That's good. That's good when Sporte right there, Steve. Get inside. Exactly. Get the board, put it back up. In the middle, Van Marder, he misses the, misses the easy one. It's taken. And it's number six, Schultz, scores inside on the rebound. And if this game goes inside, Greg, I think we're going to see Clinton kind of prevailing because they certainly have the size. I'm looking for a real high-scoring game tonight. They're going to shoot the eyes out. Brian Gillen from the corner. Off the mark, no good. Good hustle for the rebound. Goodwin puts it up again, misses everything. Rebound by Newton, Goodwin again, and he scores. Number eight, Brian Goodwin. Goodwin doing a little overtime work on the boards there, Steve. Well, Brian Goodwin, the high-scoring Frankfurt forward, scored a season-high 47 points against North Montgomery, so he can sure light up the scoreboard. Frankfurt still in the man-to-man. -man. Linton from three-point range puts it up off the rim, no good. Rebound, Coons strong inside and gets fouled. Foul will be on number nine, Newton. Kyle Coons, a very strong player. I guess, Greg, you can keep you up around the 220, 230 range. <laughs> exactly. He gets around the boards. I'll tell you, he clears them out real quick. He'll be shooting two. Clinton County jumped up to a 4-2 lead here with 630 left in the first quarter. If you just joined us. As Coons hits the first of two shots, I'm Steve Warren along with Greg Davis. Coons, of course, led Zionsville to the regional. It's kind of a surprise sectional victory for Zionsville. As exactly. Mo most people feel the Lebanon usually wins that every year, but Zionsville prevailed this year. Big upset. Cook takes it inside. He's short, misses everything. Doesn't. And, we, and Coons on the break. Giving it his all to get down there. Brian Goodwin brings it back up. Bad pass. Paddock picks it off from Zionsville, number two. Looks to Van Marder. Coons. Play's getting a little sloppy right now, but that's what you really expect from an all-star game like this. Of course, the guys haven't been playing for a while, but I think you'll see a lot of good basketball before the night's over. They have to get kind of warmed up, I think, Greg, especially on the fast break and transition play, which we haven't done for a while. Oh, Richie Smith gets hacked. And he ran into a roadblock <laughs> right there. Al Coons, number eight, puts a slam on him. Richie Smith gets the foul, and Frank will be taking the ball underneath their own basket. I think Richie's wondering what planet he's on right now. <laughs> he got hit right there. 2-3 zone by the Boone County All-Stars. Richie Smith. Let's see a three-pointer here, Steve. He brings it up. He was flirting with it. Newton. Brian Gouin. He's not shy to put the ball up right there. Misses everything. And it's going to be Boone County's ball. Brian Gouin hard off the, hard off the glass. With a score 4-3. to three. Clinton County in front. Of course, in these all-star games, you'll see nothing but man-to-man -man defense, and that's probably why we'll see a high-scoring ball game tonight. Goes with the ball down in the corner. Linton, he'll put it up. Jeff Linton, a good shooter for as high, tall as he is. He's a, he can shoot the outside jump shot. I'm sure he'll be putting up some three-pointers tonight. Good offensive player. Can hit the jumper from 20 feet. 
or farther out. Bad pass right there by Newton. Be Boone County's ball. Looks like we've got a substitution. Number four, Dale Kleeman. It's from Western Boone. The only Western Boone player on the Boone County All-Star team. Four, four from Lebanon and four from Zion. Exactly. Though. Brent Paddock, the point guard from Zionsville, so brings the ball up the court. Pass deflected by Dick Royer. The shot will go up from Jeff Linton. No good rebound. Strong rebound by Coons, and he puts it back in. There's where he uses his size, Greg. 7-4, Boone County takes the three-point lead. Their biggest lead tonight, Richie Smith. Looking good for Brian pass. Goodwin. Good pass. Good not handle it. Inside. And Kaboom. Can't. That's going to count. Count it. Basket. And number five, Brad Cook, 6'4". Six, 6'4", four. Six, four center from Clinton Prairie. Strong inside player, Steve. I guess you'd call him a garbage player. He uh, really came on his senior year, Greg, and his first three years he hadn't he didn't do much, but this year he really came on for Coach Myron Cheese's ball club. A three-pointer ties it up, Steve, 7-7. Seven, seven. 440 left in the first quarter. Linton looks inside to Coons. Coons saves it to Dickie Royer for Clinton County. Royer brings the ball up, fast break. He's going to pull it up. Well, he's going to go all the way. Dick Royer pulls up from 10. Count it, uh, Dick Royer. And if he gets high, Greg, he can, put, he can put, light it up there with the best of them. He's got a good outside shot, and he can pull you and drive, too. Good, strong offensive rebound. Linton, there's Coons again. You've got to call three seconds on something like that. Linton, Linton's been not, not been shy to put the ball up. He can't find a mark. I tell you, Kyle Coons has been in there so long, he ought to be paying rent. He's been in the middle there so long. <laughs> He's going to pitch a tent in the lane, I think. Exactly. 2-3 two, two, zone by the Clinton County All-Stars. Jeff Linton taking the ball out of bounds for Boone County. Paddock, he'll pull it from three-point three. range. That's off the mark. Brian Goodwin, defensive rebound, weak side. He brings out a oh. bad pass looking in between. It was two-on-two. Two. Paddock, and he gets another bad pass. Looks inside of Van Martyr. Oh, Goodwin. Goodwin makes him pay on that one. He made sure that wasn't going up. Brian Goodwin's first foul. Like they always say, if you're going to waste a foul, you might as well... Foul him. He'll think twice next time he comes inside on Goodwin. <laughs> Brian Goodwin, 6'4 from Frankfurt. An all around athlete, Brian Goodwin is, Greg. He's uh, a very good punter from football and, of course, basketball, and he's a very good pitcher in high school baseball. I saw where he was 4'4 uh, four for four against Lafayette Jefferson last week. Very impressive Nine showing. Strikeouts. Many, many schools looking at him in that, in that department. Exactly. Fastball up around 90 miles an hour. He can heave it. Yep. A couple substitutions. Number 11, Steve uh, Steve Wolf from Clinton Prairie. And number 2, Laird Hunt from Clinton Central. Second one is good from Van Martyr. And that cuts the, Frank, the Clinton County lead to one point. I think they'll try to... Working inside here to Goodwin or somebody. Wolf, and that's what they He's do. He's down the block. That's his shot. He gets He's off. The block. Got, got a foul. Piece of that one. It's going to be a foul on number five. Yeah, I think that was Chris Reese. Chris Reese, six three from uh, Lebanon. Reese. Chris Reese is the story because, in his, oh, like uh, Cook, he didn't show much his first three years, and he really didn't show much for uh, Rosenstiel's Lebanon team this year, but he's a strong rebounder, and he earned a spot on this all-star team. Exactly. He's a role player, but he does the job they ask of him. First of two is made by Laird Hunt, 6'4", center from Clinton Central. Just a guy that gives 110% constantly when he's on the court. Second one is off the mark. Rebound by number eight, Kyle Coons. Well, that's number six, Schultz, Jay Schultz. Ball's put Wide open. Corner. He doesn't hit anything. Reese with a rebound. Nice play by Chris Reese. Being in the right place at the right time, Steve. That's the fact right there. Richie Smith comes off Brian Goodwin's screen. He puts it up from 15 off the back of the rim. No good. It's going to be Clinton County's ball off of Chris Reese. Richie Smith, number seven. 
who came through in the section on the clutch for Clinton Central in the big game over Frankfurt this year, Greg, if you remember. Yep. He had a big game, and uh, he's a very good outside shooter. They're going to leave him alone for Mary. He'll take it. He gets oh, a partially he got blocked. Back. Down the court to Linton. Linton will pull up, and it's good. Goodwin tried to get up in the ozone layer there for the <laughs> rejection, but didn't get it up high enough, evidently. Steve, Steve Wolf will put it up from about 10 feet. It's off the back of the rim. Good rebound. Count that one. Laird Hunt, 6'4". Down into Schultz. Schultz will put that up, and he is fouled by Looks Laird like on Hunt. number two, Hunt. A couple of substitutions. Into the, into the game is number four, Lance Spezzard. And in, the other one is, I'm not sure who that one, number three. Number three, Matt Roberts from Clinton Prairie, a, a five-eight outside shooter. Real good outside shooter. He put it. He'll be putting it up from long range, I think. We'll Shall probably it? see two or three three-pointers out of him tonight, at least. First two shots is off the mark. Running camera in the first quarter. John Jackson up in the press box and Carl Anderson down on the floor. We'll be acknowledging them throughout the game tonight. Richie Smith brings over the timeline with a they're down Clinton Clinton County's down by one point. Looks into Spezzard. Spezzard can hold on. Wolf in the corner. Off the mark. Chris Reese, strong defensive rebound. Brings it to Brent Paddock. Kyle Coons couldn't hold on. It's gonna be a turnover. Everybody just converged on him and he had nowhere to turn. Over to Richie Smith, number seven. Hunt's begging for the ball over there, Steve. Look at that. Puts Kaboom. It oh. oh. What a move. Wolf gets wow. the ball. Nice play by Linton. Linton can jump. No foul called. Oh, that, oh. Except there. <laughs> nice play by Brent Paddock as he went up. Richie Smith trying to make sure he didn't make it, but it backfired on him. And a chance for Boone County to go up by four points. Tell you one thing, Smith put him to the floor and hard. He's probably seeing a couple goals right now rather than one. <laughs> Hit the one in the middle. Well, we'll soon, yeah. <laughs> he was uh, short. <laughs> Richie Smith brings the ball up. Down by three points is Clinton County with just under two minutes left in this first quarter. I'm surprised they took Goodwin out so soon. Spezzard, and he gets fouled. Foul's going to be on number two, Brent Paddock. He's trying to get back at these kids for making him look bad over on the other side. I think it's time for the Clinton County All-Stars outside shooting to come alive here. It's kind of been, been a slow start to this ball game. It's been totally non-existent. Bad pass, long shot. Reese, Van Marder, he's fouling. Strong rebound. Hunt's uh, claimed a few boards since he came into the game, playing real strong inside. He's won a few bright spots for the Clinton County All-Stars right now. And Spezzard, Spezzard, go around the baseline. Roberts draws There's one. Three Roberts draws a foul from Pata. Brent Paddock, second foul. Looks like we got a substitution there. Jeff Linton, looks like Steve. Number seven for Boone County, and it's going to be a one and one. Or they're going to call it a shooting foul, I think. Definitely got to watch Linton, as we spoke earlier. He can light it up real quick. Remember when uh, he was a sophomore, Lebanon went to semi-state. Exactly. He made the all-semi-state team as a sophomore, playing against players like Troy Lewis, and uh, he comes through when the pressure's on. Exactly. Probably see the ball in his hands here. Good pass into Linton. He'll turn around jumper. Count that. 
a nice pass by Van Marder right there. He looked inside to Linton. The turnaround jumper from 10 feet gives them a four-point lead with under a minute left in the first quarter. Didn't take him too long to warm up. Richie Smith fakes, puts it up off the front edge of the rim. He's kind of, he's kind of hesitating on that jump shot. Coons cherry pick in there. Good defensive play oh. there by Richie Smith. Spencer knocks it back. Sloppily played first quarter. Just over 30 seconds left in this first quarter. Matt Roberts looks inside to Spezzard. Spezzard's cleans house, goes up. No good. The little guy. Good rebound. Oh. Wolf, number 11. Not pretty, but he gets it done. And Linton definitely took steps on that one. And he knew it. <laughs> 19 seconds left in the first quarter. Taking a walk on the boulevard. <laughs> Looking for the last shot. They might try a three-pointer here, Steve. Oh, he throws it away. Not a good spot for a turnover. Five seconds to go. Four. Last second shot three. here. Coons puts off the glass, and it counts. Boom. And that's a buzzer. So... So with the score, Boone County 19, Clinton County 15, you're tuned to the full-service broadcasting system of Frankfurt High School, CSF Cable, Channel 3. a few beers. If you don't stop your friend from drinking and driving, you're as good as dead. Drinking and driving can kill a friendship. Boone County All-Stars up right now. Steve, who's on that uh, Clinton County All-Star coaching bench over there right now. Well, it's kind of a surprise, but former Clinton Central standout and Indiana State basketball player Rick Fields is sitting over there on the sidelines for the Clinton County All-Star team. I'm sure he will get some insight because um, he knows the game is about as good as anybody does, Greg. I'd say that guy lit the scoreboard up one night for at least, I think it was 29, 30 points against the University of Minnesota his senior year. So he could shoot free throws, that's for sure. He's led, led, led the nation there for a while in free throw shooting. He could shoot anything. <laughs> Not just free throws. Well, here we go. Clint Central's, all, Clint Central's always seemed to have some good shooters, though, with Hodson. And exactly. We've got quite a few. Shoot coming up. Newton. Newton's a good outside shooter. He showed you why. Cuts the deficit to two. Paddock. Goes inside to Coons. He's fouled. I believe it's going to be on Laird Hunt. Good strong move. That was a good strong move. Coons with a six point. And when he goes in there, people move out of the way. And if you don't, that's what's going to happen right there. He went inside. Take it right down your throat. And he misses. Evidently, he can hit from five feet, but from 15, he's a bricklayer. <laughs> Wolf, fake, and short over the back on Spessard. Climbed the wrong back. Kind of sandwiched in between there and got whistled for the foul. And they'll bring it back down. Boone County's in the one and one. Might be a factor here in the first half. I'm sure both these clubs can shoot free throws well. Both these uh, both these players on these on these rosters. I still say you got to get Brian Goodwin in there, make a run at these guys within the next couple minutes. Both these teams have the capabilities to pull away from you in a hurry. They've got some scores on each side. There's an important miss from the front end of a one and one. There's Newton. Thinks about it. Wolf inside the hunt. He turns, shoots. No good. And controlled by the Boone County All-Stars. Foul. I 
uh, each time somebody the Blue County goes to the bucket, they hit it, they get fouled. Mike Van Marder went all the way on that one, Greg. He uh, got the rebound, came down, and took control inside. Nice the guy, shot. The guy's a scorer. He hit 15.3 a game this year for Zionsville, so he can score. Kaboom. Seven-point game. They're going to have to make a run here. That's his fourth point right there. Got to be patient. Get a good shot. You cannot live off the perimeter. Right now, Boone County does not have a pure shooter out there or a strong inside player as Laird Hunt throws the ball away. Looks like Paddock's looking inside for Mr. Coons. Van Meter. Van Martyr, pardon me. To Paddock. We feel the breeze up in the press box, and Hunt, <laughs> I tell you. There when he has just to going be. Wrong. Everything. Bad pass there. And the play before, it was a horrible pass. They increased the lead to nine. Wolf inside Hunt. Newton, he's thinking about it. Roberts, looking inside. Whole new four coming in for Clinton County. And it's short. Well, no, wait. Tell me, wait. Looks like Boone County is playing a 2-3 zone right now. Where Clinton County still man-to-man. -man. It's getting kind of sloppy right and now. And they call timeout. Good timeout by John Sloggett. That was. He plays getting kind of slo sloppy, and uh, he decided he needed to slow things down as... Clinton County had a whole new four coming in. Exactly. It's a nine-point game. You don't want to let the Boone County All-Stars get ahead by any more. Like we said earlier, with scores like Linton and Zimmerman, and you've got Coons working inside, and then Van Martyr from outside as well. That's where Goodwin has to come in, I think, Greg, as he, nobody's seeming to stop Coons inside as he has seven points leading Boone County, and I think if Goodwin got in there, he might be halted, but... Right now, Brian Goodwin has been sitting on the bench as he leads the, the Clinton County team with four points and only that limited action in the first quarter. Maybe they're, maybe they're getting back at him for bending that rim. I don't here. know. <laughs> maybe that's know. it. Oh, here we go. Clinton County's going to try to cut into that lead. It's nine points right now. Looks like you'll have Newton and Smith, Goodwin, Cook, and Dickie Royer for the Clinton County All-Stars. And they go back to man-to-man, -to -man, Boone County does. Oh, Good one wide alone. open. That's two. Oh. Boone County, Linton. Tough Missed shot. It. That would have been a tough shot. Good ball handling. Newton inside. I tell you what, Clinton County, I can't remember the last time they even got up a shot, really. A good shot, for that matter. Exactly. Each time they get the ball, they play real lackadaisical offense. Van Martyr, Royer, Smith to Goodwin. He deals. He drives. Oh. Foul, I believe, on Van Martyr. No, I think he got fouled early, and Van Martyr blocked it, and then Goodwin kind of took Van Martyr out of the play right there. Oh, Cross-body block. I tell you what, you got to like that Brian Goodwin. Well, Cleman gets a foul, his second. Goodwin can do it inside and out, and especially from the free throw line. Goodwin hits. Very good free throw shooter. Goodwin connects. He's all scored. He leads the Clinton County team by, with six points right now. I'm surprised with Clinton County being down seven points, they're not trying to press. Good rebound, Dick Roy on the weak side. All right, they'll hold it up. Smith pushes up to Newton. Three pointer. Counter. Kaboom. <laughs> Way out there. From the outer limits, <laughs> Brian Newton. Indiana kind of Bell. Exactly. Next best thing to being there. Four-point game. Van Martyr. Oh, there's got to be a foul. First down County. at least. That'll be a foul on Schultz, I believe. Jay Schultz. 
his first ballot. Schultz played for Zinesville. Speaking of the three-pointer, Greg, and not only are they experimenting in this game, but in the Big Ten next exactly. year, especially that three-point play is going to be, be very important. interesting. Especially, and it's not going to be much farther than this one is. I think it will be very interesting, especially for the Indiana Hoosiers, who have to be coming back Ooh. with, <laughs> you know, Bobby Knight, uh, winner of, w- winner of two national second. championships. <laughs> the team that got second. Coons with the rebound. Linton, Paddock, he'll shoot. He's not scared. Linton, don't give him too much room. Reese, he drives. You don't go inside like that. That's that's where Brian Goodwin comes into play. You can't get it inside to Coons like that. You notice ever since they put Goodwin back in the game, rather than being a nine-point game, it's four points. Coons is non-existent in there. Smith. And offensive. offensive foul. Clinton County, Richie Smith with the offensive foul, number two on him. You cannot go airborne when you're driving into that paint. Somebody's going to run right out in front of you exactly like that. Oh, yes. Yeah, Traveling. Excellent defense by Richie Smith right there. He made up for it, Steve. They cut the lead to two right here. Big possession. Smith's another one of those in a long line of Clint Central guards. Quick, who can shoot from outside and press you all night. Paddock. They'll run the three on two break. Oh. Makeup call right there, Steve. They didn't get the travel, so they called the three seconds on him. Right now, they have to go in a good one, I think. He's the only one that's been productive inside or out, for that matter. He's your meal ticket. you got to go to him. He'll get you there. He'll get you to the winner's circle. <laughs> Smith drives. Dick Royer. Count that. Roller. Count that. Boom. Four points, Dickie Royer, on two for two shooting. And he's got it to two. We've got a good game here. They're looking inside. I tell you, since Goodwin came in, Coons has been non-existent, whether it's shooting the ball or rebounding. Smith, he'll set it up. Newton, he's got the hot hand. Kaboom. Clint County shooting now starting to get on track, Greg. We knew it couldn't be much longer before the Clint County All-Stars would start lighting it up. Seven points for Newton. There's the guy you got to watch. Coons, he's an animal. Nine points for Kyle Coons. He leads all scores. Yeah, you must have heard us talking about him up here. I know it. Smith. Good one. Board to Goodwin. Put it up. No good. Cook. Lint with the foul. Linton was going to make sure that Cook did not get that shot off. Yeah, Brian Good with strong offensive rebound, couldn't get the fog. Another good offensive rebound by Brad Cook, and he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. Cook's another guy who can score some points for you. 14.3 on the season. He had a season high of 24, so he can score. He has four points right now. It's going to make it pretty tough on the Boone County All-Stars to guard Clinton County because you can go to so many different people. They have a lot of weapons out there right now, Greg, and they shoot from either outside or go inside right exactly. now. Exactly. Van Marder. Good one. Intimidation. No right good. What, what's, what's Richie Smith doing under the board? Doesn't he know he's, he's too small <laughs> he's to be under guard. there? He could get hurt under there. <laughs> Brian Goodwin. Goodwin against the world. Looks like Clinton County will retain possession. We also want to mention, Greg, that Clinton County is without a guard this evening, Pat Kersey, who had knee surgery Thursday, and I'm sure he'd be putting up some long-range ones. Good point guard, good outside shooter. Struggle for the ball. Smith thought he's going to travel there. Newton went the three-pointer. He's wide open. Smith from three. And what do we have? Goodwin clearing out with the elbow. <laughs> they caught him that time. 
<laughs> Goodwin second foul. Goodwin leaving his calling card. <laughs> Looks like we'll have the one and one again. Mr. Linton goes to the line for the one and one. Linton trying to get his seventh and eighth points of the evening, and he hits the first of a one and one. Got those soft rims tonight. <laughs> Brian Goodwin could attest to that. Fragile wins tonight. <laughs> second one's up and good. Let's point out running camera in the second quarter up in the press box is Scott Burdick, and down on the floor is Brooke Snyder. And they're going to try to trap to get the steal there. Smith, got to slow things down, buddy. Cook inside, in. Cook out seven points. Again. Linton, you know he'll shoot. Kaboom. Just inside the three-point circle. Good win. He goes up, and it's in. Brian Goodwin with eight points. Here we go, racehorse basketball, Steve. Smith. Nice defensive. Quick hands. Got a tie ball game up with one minute left in the first half. Linton looks in. They'll play the 2-3 on the inbounds. Coons backing in. Like we've said all night, he gets it within five feet. Might as well mark it down. 11 points for Kyle Coons. Good pass. Good win. Linton. Oh, sloppy play there. Dickie Royer. Two-point game. Boone County All-Stars in the lead. Royer. Nice pass. Inside. Cook. He misses. Coons over the back of Goodwin. Goodwin a little winded right now. 25 seconds to go. Second quarter. Linton to spot. Oh, jeez. Goodwin <laughs> just collapses on the board right there, Steve. He got up in the air right there, Greg. Elbows That's Seven flying. rebounds for Goodwin in the first half. He's an all-around player. Six seconds to go. Got to shoot it. You got three. Not a smart play. End of the first half. I don't think Richie Smith knew how much time was left on the clock right I there. I don't either. He even looked up at the clock, and he, he still couldn't shoot it. Well, with a score of 34 to 32 in favor of the Boone County All-Stars. You're tuned to CSF Cable TV, the community schools of Frankfurt, Channel 3. The people. Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Every year, literally thousands of health problems which are prevalent among students are first recognized by their teachers and coaches. It's an extra sense of dedication that makes busy educators give your child this kind of extra attention. But even the most dedicated educator cannot be expected to detect every health problem. The American Chiropractic Association and your family doctor of chiropractic urge you to make certain your child has regular health examinations, including that of the back and spine.
With the halftime score 34-32, Boone County All-Stars up. We'll send it over to our stat man, Mark Ransom. Tonight, Boone County's leading the field goal percentage, shooting 14 of 34 for 42% to Clinton County's 12 of 35 for 34%. On the other hand, Clinton County's winning the free throw with 7 of 10 for 70% to Boone County's 6 of 12 for 50%. Clinton County is also winning the rebounding underneath with 20 to Boone County's 14. Brian Goodwin leading the rebounding with 7. And turnovers are even at 6-6. Six and six. And now back to Greg. Stats fairly even, first half. My colleague Steve Warren nestles into his seat. We're ready, we're ready. Steve, I tell you what, you are telling me how hot you were during intramurals this year. Why, why weren't you put on this, this Clinton County All-Star? Well, let me tell you, Greg, uh, they asked me to. I also turned down a bid to that McDonald's All-Star game that's this, this played today. But, uh, you know, I'm, I might be playing over in Italy this year, so uh, it just depends on what my schedule can allow. I got a band, you know, so it's awful hard for me to work around that schedule, too. Exactly. Steve calls it a band. Of course, everybody's heard of the <laughs> AE band. <laughs> Which, worldly renowned. Which soon will be rocking at Riley. <laughs> yeah, Details, of course, will be coming up in the Q95 card concert line. <laughs> I heard you're giving away stickers and everything at that concert, well, Steve, uh, so it ought to be real interesting. You know, uh, when you're, uh, I'm surprised I could even get up on this end of this booth. They were chasing me around down the lobby, and I said, hey, i got to get up here and call this basketball game, and you know, that's how it goes when it's in the life of a star like I am, Greg. Exactly. Steve was just <laughs> walking around here all day bragging. Yeah, I had 21 a game during intramurals. 20, 21 20, a game, and I 23 a game, and I ended up finding out that was shots, folks, not points <laughs> per game. So, uh, just had to set the record straight for Steve. But yeah. Thank what, you, Greg. What else? Do you expect, though, from a Wolverine fan that they yeah, shoot the well, ball every time, you know? Yeah, well, uh, Just like your your old buddy Antoine Gilbert, yeah, se second, the judge. Second year in a row, all Big Ten. Uh, second year in a row, Big Ten champs. Uh, I don't know any team that could say that right now. So, it's it's you know, Bob Knight went home early this year. But uh, on to this game, Greg, 34-32, Boone County leading the way. Starting getting ready for the second half, and Greg, I think in the second half of this ball game, things got a little bit up tempo in the first end of the second quarter. I think that'll carry over into this quarter. I think we'll be looking at a real interesting third and fourth quarter. Boone County All Stars, I believe, only dressed like seven players, so you might see a little bit of wear and tear when it gets around fourth quarter time. <laughs> Let's acknowledge our crew for this quarter. Down on the floor, we have Jeff Warren. And up on the press box, we have Jordy Anderson, who would like to say a special hello to his father watching at home, George Anderson. Jordy, I'd just like to say that, and uh, I know you wanted me to, so I did it. We're ready for second half action here, Greg. Hey, Steve, we can't say hello on the air like that. Know you, what, you know that. Jordy's been bugging me about it, and uh, I just had to do it. I mean... Things, there's some things you have to do. And, uh, yeah. Restrictions, restrictions. Right, Steve? Yeah. Well, it looks like we got another half to go. Take it away, partner. All right. Coming out with a different five for this half is the Clinton County All-Stars. Starting for Clinton County is Lance Spezzer, Steve Wolf, Laird Hunt, Brian Newton, and number three, Matt Roberts from Clinton Prairie. Inbounding, number two, Brent Paddock is number 10, Van Martyr for Boone County. Still on a man to man defense. No, they're, I think they moved to a 2 3 zone. They have. I'm not sure if that was a zone or not, Greg, right there displayed, but. Whatever uh, it was, it worked, Steve. Yeah. That's all that counts. <laughs> Close to three point range, Newton. Good rebound, five foot eight, and he got up near on that Come one. Come on, Brian, step back another foot. <laughs> he counts the second one. We're knotted up at 34. Van Marder brings the ball up. Kyle Coons, the big offensive producer in the first half for Boone County. Linton from the corner 
15 feet away, and he hits. He starts out, he can be deadly. Matt Roberts now running the offense for Clinton County. Gotta like Matt Roberts. He has something that I call the three Ds. He can deal, he can drive, and he can deliver. <laughs> Looks like Newton just opened it up with a three-pointer. Coons! Newton's lit the scoreboard up tonight with those three-pointers, He has Steve. two of them so far. Van Marder, he'll put that one up from long range. Off the mark. Race to the ball. Bannock controls. No, Coons tried to go inside to Van Marder. It's going to be Clinton County's ball. Tempo's starting to swing now. Exactly. The momentum. One-point lead, Steve. They'll try to increase it here. Clinton County. With a lineup that wasn't very productive for them in the first half, but seemingly do better this half. Looking inside, bad pass, but Steve Wolf hangs on for Clinton County. He pulls hey. it out front to Matt Roberts. Hey, when you've got Newton out there, you don't need too many offensive players. He fakes. Looks at, nice play by nice defensive play by number ten, Van Marter. He looks. Oh, he definitely he wheels looks and deals, Steve. Looks like he took a couple extra steps, but nonetheless, he got the basket. He drove to the hoop with the savvy of a Las Vegas gambler. <laughs> Jeez. Wolf turned around jumper, no good. Lance Spencer going up. Lance will draw the jump ball. It'll be Clinton County's ball. Lance has definitely gained some size over his four-year career at Rossville. He's got to be up around 230 or so. Wolf underneath misses everything. Here comes Paddock. Paddock up 15. Shoots at 16. No good. Off the weak side rebound and count it. Kyle Coon. There he is again, Greg. Time and time again, it's happened tonight. Miss shot. Coons rebound up and in. And he gets fouled. Over there on the bench too, Greg. Brian Goodwin. The one who stopped Kyle Coons in the first half, and Kyle Coons is back on track. And he hits the free throw. Four point lead for Boone County, 41 37, with over five and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Wolf. No, it's Laird Hunt going up, and he is fouled. He is fouled by Kyle Coons, number eight. That's his second foul. Hunt with a good head fake. Got him up in the air. Drew the foul. It's what you want from a strong rebounder, and he sure gives you some good rebounding. Laird Hunt will be going to shoot two. Be shooting two with five and a half minutes left in the game. If you just joined us, I'm Steve Warren along with Greg Davis. You're watching Clinton County Boone County All Star Game, sponsored by the Frankfurt Optimist Club here at Case Arena. Hunt will try to hit the second one. And it's up, and he hits it. Cut the lead to three. Think they can still get the ball back. Cut it. With a three-point play. Van Murray goes baseline, tries to go inside, and it's going to be off. Laird Hunt, good defensive play to stop Kyle Coons. Coach Slogan having faith in his five he has on the floor right now. Paddock on the outside. A 2-3 zone by Clinton County right now. They're looking inside. Partner, you're going to have to pop the J. Like it or not. Linton just will. inside the three-point line. No good. Wolf gets the rebound. Matt Roberts brings it up for Clinton County. That's from way out there if he's going to put that one up. Newton on the right side. Look inside the hunt. Hunt, good pass to Wolf, swinging it around, and he hits that one. Good ball movement by Clinton County on that one, Greg. Real good ball movement. And Clinton County now starting to prevail on the boards. Need down by patient. one point. 
Bad pass. Sure didn't need that. He goes inside. It's going to be a foul number 11, Wolf. And Mr. Shooter at the line, Jeff, Jeff Linton, Linton will be going to the line. Four and a half minutes left in the third quarter. The let's tempo's kind of slowed now, Greg. He'll, he'll probably make two. Let's see here. I'm half right. What was that? A, a Las Vegas casino gambler or dealer? Or? Not there. That, uh. that was nothing but string music <laughs> there, string Steve. String music. Lynn from 15. Woo. Sweet. Sweetness. <laughs> Clinton County right now without a true point guard. Roberts is your shooting he guard. Puts, he'll put that one up. <laughs> that was from where? That was from a parking lot. Point guard. <laughs> Went to shooting guard just then. Still in a 2-3 zone is Clinton County. Three-point lead by Boone County. And Van Martyr over to Linton on the right side. He goes baseline, puts up a 15-footer, and he hits it. He's hot now. I tell you, he can hit from the corner. Up by five. They're going to have to cut that lead, Steve. Linton's got 16. Wolf inside, drives a lane and hits. You look at these teams, Steve, and Clint County All-Stars, at least my opinion. It, it seems that they outclass them. Exactly. But uh, Boone County seems to play better as a team than Clint County does. Exactly. But you've got people like Roberts who's playing out of position, so... As I said, they don't really have a point guard out there. As exactly. For Clinton Prairie, it's Kent Cheesem, who's a junior. And for Clinton Central, it's John Shoup, who's a junior. Or Richie Smith, who's on the bench right now. And driving the lane, Van Martyr. They've opened a lead to five points. Got to get the starters back in, Steve. The, high, the biggest lead for Boone County thus far has been eight points. Second but, quarter, I believe. But, but, but Clinton County has come back, and now it's back down by five. Going right side is back up Dilt top to Newton. Newton off the mark. Spezzard misses everything on the inside. Van Martyr senior running running the offense for Boone County, trying to draw a charge, and he hits. Nice play right there. Matt Roberts bringing the ball up. They need a basket right here. That's not what they needed. Looks like a foul on Litton. Number seven, Boone County All-Star. Checking in, Brian Goodwin, Richie Smith, Dick Royer, and uh, Brad Cook. Also reporting in, no, no, I guess that's it, uh, Brad Cook coming in, and Steve Wolf will be going to the free throw line. He'll shoot two. So he fouled on, not a good place to foul right there, about a 20-foot jump shot, and he was hacked. He'll make the first one. I don't think there really is a true point guard for, on this whole Clinton County team. The true point guard would be Pat, Pat Jersey, Jersey if he was healthy. And he's got one leg right now, so. <laughs> but, uh, I don't think we'll see Pat playing any wheelchair basketball before <laughs> the night's over. I was talking to him today, and he's telling me that they, uh, the doctor said they had to reconstruct the back of his knee, so he, he'll be sitting for a while. That's too bad. Van Marty, he'll put it up from way out there, and he'll hit just inside the three-point line. Two-pointer. Two-pointer. It's 14 for Van Marder. Six point, seven point lead. Dicky Royer looking for the three point shot. Looks two. like a, a two three zone. They're sagging on Mr. Richie Goodwin. Smith from way out there. Three, three pointer. pointer. Think you could hear the bell ring on that one. <laughs> Paddock over to Van Martyr on the right side to Chris Reese, and it's going to be out of bounds. They're bringing the ball and now with this five. I think momentum starting to swing Clinton County's way. They can cut the lead now to two points. Smith. Newton, Newton just inside the three-point line and off the back of the rim. Dick Royer, good rebound. Looks inside. Cook gets it partially blocked. Brian Goodwin saves it. Keeps it alive. Pop it. Newton. 
He's a tough perimeter shooter, Steve. You can't, you, you can't get him one, let alone two right there. And it's going to be a two-point game. Paddock bringing the ball at number two over to Van Marder, man-to-man -man now. Paddock from about 15, he hits. More like 17. Ups the, ups the Boone County lead to four points with over a minute left in the third quarter. Come on, Richie. Pop a three-pointer right here. Get him in within a point. He'll shoot it. You know that. That's no doubt. That's a long range. Way yeah. out there. That was up by the yellow line right there, Greg. Exactly. He changed zip codes on that one, Steve. <laughs> uh, airmail, Richie Smith. Count nice play right there. Number six, Jay Schultz from Zionsville. Well, we'll just come back and hit a three-pointer here, and we'll, we'll tie it up. Isn't that the way it's supposed oh, to work? I thought or? about that one. Just inside a three-point line, off the mark, Dick Royer fights for the offensive rebound, and it's given up to Brent Paddock. It will catch up with you if you keep shooting from the perimeter. You've got to go inside. Keep him honest. Looking, looking, he looks good pass inside to Reese. Reese goes up against Goodwin. Oh, you got to call three. It's going to be a jump ball between Richie Smith and Jay Schultz. It's going to be Boone County's ball with 17 seconds left in the third quarter. Newton comes out of the ball game. Looks like Linton will inbound the ball. 2-3 zone by Clinton County. Reese, Linton will take the ball to 17-footer, and he hits from the corner. They're going to need a bucket here. Smith, he's going to shoot. Roberts. Way out there, Roberts no out of his range. He lets it fly, Steve. Oh, that was a long-distance shot right there. So with a score of 57-52, Boone County up by five. I'm Steve Orland with Greg Davis. You're tuned to CSF Cable Channel 3. This is Eddie Albert. We made agriculture America's number one industry. But to ensure our future, our strength and sustenance will have to come from our young people. Agriculture is a career where you can make a difference. You can work with the latest sophisticated technology, and the opportunities are unlimited if you have the right skills. The future is in your hands. Contact your high school today to get started in vocational agriculture and the FFA. Early in their game, you probably heard Mr. Martin Henderson give the public address. It sort of reminds me of the Red Barn Summer Theater coming up this summer. I believe it will start somewhere in June. Of course, if you're wanting ticket information, call 659-3960 Monday through Friday after 4 o'clock. I'm sure Martin's looking forward to a fantastic upcoming season. Back to action. Smith. Over to Royer. They might have to shoot some three-pointers. There's good ones. And he there. shoots a 20-footer 18 right there. Yeah. A couple feet short, Steve. <laughs> Van Meter. That's a long shot. <laughs> that is. I need binoculars to see that far, Steve. <laughs> oh, he... Good one. Got a piece of his shoulder, arm. Linton with the foul. Made sure he didn't That's make three. the basket. That might have been a little bit out of Goodman's oh, range down in the corner right there. He can shoot, but that's about a 21-footer right there. That's way out there. Skill's great, but luck's even better, Steve. <laughs> He'll probably connect with these. Brian Goodwin hits this and going to double figures. They held him scoreless in the third quarter. Connects with both. Three-point lead for the Boone County All-Stars. Van Marder. They leave the middle open for him. He'll drive. He'll shoot. He'll miss. Royer. Four on three. Roberts. Misses. Richie Smith there for the rebound. Nice pass. Inside a good one. Count that. Had four guys collapse on it, and he still scored. 
Excellent pass by Richie Smith in there looking inside. He knows what they have to do. Linton from the corner. Got to watch him. He'll do it in a hurry, too. Three-point lead. Smith, he won't be shy with the shot. Now they're starting to hit. Linton with 20 points for Boone County. High score in the ball game. He took steps. Linton. Uh, he's hot now. You don't give him the J from 15 or he'll stick it in your face every Especially time. Especially if he's hot. Lebanon always has that good shooter. Always does. Good pass. Brian Goodwin goes Goodwin. inside. And excellent play by Brian Goodwin. Need the ball fake. Got him up in the air. Went inside. And count it. Good pass by Dick Royer, too. Brian Goodwin drove the baseline, faith, and drew the foul. And big play. He can tie the ball game up right here. Bringing up Lebanon, of course. What's, I guess there's a story going around. Rick Mount's going to be assistant coach at Lafayette Jeff next year. And then you'll see Richie Mount going to Lafayette Jeff. That's a rumor going around right now. So. Lafayette Jeff is uh, kind of questionable as of late. <laughs> Heard they're getting another move in, too. I'm serious. From a... Uh, Southern Indiana or something. So I, I don't know. I tell you, Lafayette Jefferson does a heck of a recruiting job each year. <laughs> Paddock. we got a tie ball game. Reese looking inside. Nice pass. Lebanon Tiger. Coons inside. Nothing you can do right there, Greg. Just a rugged player. Smith. Dickie Royer open. The flash pass. Good one wasn't expecting it. Seen a lot of turnovers tonight. Yes, we have. Uh, but <laughs> sort of expect that in an all-star game. Seen some good plays, too. So, evens out in the end. We had a slow starting ball game, but they're starting to light it up now, Greg. Especially Jeff Linton. He has 22 points. And Kyle Coons, who has 15 points. Badock. Way out there. Oh, Goodwin. Nice rebound, Brian Goodwin going up ever, ever, over everybody. Nine rebounds for the 6'4 senior. Smith. Don't need the fancy passes right now when you're down two. Way out. Oh, is that a three pointer, Steve? It is. That drew the, that drew the flag up there. Yeah. I'd say. Richie Smith is three out of four on a three-point range. There's a pain in your side right there, Mr. Linton. 24 points for Linton. Nice pass. Good, real good pass. Richie Smith is doing it all right now. But Jeff Linton's doing it all for the other way. He'll put it up again. 26 Linton points. Linton goes one on five and connects there, Steve. <laughs> He's, he's kind of unconscious right now. He's not going to miss. Earth to Jeff. Earth to Jeff. <laughs> Good one. From 15. Bingo. Count it. Mismatch right there. Brent Paddock, there's no way he can guard Brian Goodwin. Mr. Linton saying, give me the ball. I haven't seen it all year with Richie Mouth. Timeout. We see a timeout. It's starting to be a real interesting all-star game, Steve. Starting to light it up right now. This pace, we might get over 80 here. But, uh, why don't you go over that crew we've got up here in the press box and on the floor for the fourth quarter there, Steve? All right, in the fourth quarter, we have Charlie Harris in the press box, and down on the floor, we have Jeff Zay. Also, like to point out our production assistants tonight. On the audio, we have Angie Opelt and the video, Pete Clausen, electronic gra graphics, Mike Eldridge, and the executive producer for this and every broadcast on CSF is Dale Snotty. Dale Snotty. He probably blushed when we started talking about Lafayette Jefferson and how they recruit each year, but also some important. Hey, that's that's high school basketball. Also, some important baseball games going on tonight. Uh, you might have some interest in Greg. Uh, Cincinnati's going to San Diego for a big, I'm a big game. Big Cincinnati Reds fan. That's that's true. I know you're really pulling. I for bleed them red, and I I love the Cincinnati Reds. Always I have. I know you're really pulling for them tonight. Exactly. You've got to pull for a team. Especially headed by Pete Rose. They'll probably win the West this year. Oh. <laughs> Badock trying to increase the lead. 2-3. Three. 
Go get in the baseline. Cannot get baseline. Good timeout. <laughs> 14 points for Van Marder could be 15 here. Uh, that timeout did seem to help him, didn't exactly. it? Exactly. You've got to close down the baseline. Let see a good look at Van Marder from Zionsville, number 10. He's got his average on the year, 15. Got to go in a good one. Clint County just keeps pecking away at that lead, but they just can't get over the hill. They just can't right now. If this guy gets hot, they can. Don't fight, guys. There we go. Smith. Numbers in his favor. Oh. He misses the bunny. You don't see Goodwin do that too often. Went way out there. Out of his range. Get him off you. Smith, need a good shot here. Down by four. That's Three-pointer. That, that thing was, I think, uh, near the hot dog. That had to be about right a 27-footer right there, Steve. He went in close Could to the 28. Van Marder, been very consistent. There's Jeff Mr. Linton. Nightmare Linton. Oh, I thought oh, he was going to make that. Boy. I tell you, somebody gave him a little push there, helped yeah, him along. Give a little forearm in the Moved side. Moved him out of that lane a little bit quicker. <laughs> Dickie Royer, Good that's two. Pass. That's two. Dickie Royer. Good pass by Richie Smith. He doesn't do it very often. When he does, he makes it, Greg. Looks one way, passes the other. The complete player, Richie Smith. Van Marder. Two-point lead for Getting Smith jammed County. up. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> what, what type of a shot is that, Steve? I was kind of a... Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw it up in the air shot, and it went in. Exactly. It's getting down to crunch time here. Four-point lead. You have got to go with your money ball players at the end. Either Richie Smith, Brian Newton, or Brian Goodwin. You have three of them to go to, really. Dickie Royer can also hit the jump shot. Newton. Smith. Oh. Throws it away. Pat off. <laughs> well, first down. I think they're at the 35-yard line there, Steve. <laughs> he tricked him out by the ankles. True string tackle. That's three fouls on Richie. He's kind of upset that he threw that ball away, so he redeemed himself, he thought, on that play. Well, smart foul. You don't get an easy layup. you got to take the ball out. So. I think like Pat we said earlier, Richie is a smart whoa. player. And Paddock's... Stepped over the 10-second line. Exactly. Over and back. Newton inbounds to Smith. Big possession right here. Two and a half to go. Down four. Clinton County. Smith to Goodwin. He drives. He is fouled. Looks like it will be on number four, Kleeman. That's his third foul. Goodwin needs both of these, as well as the Clinton All-Stars as well, and he misses. Steve, I tell you what, that missed layup and that missed free throw just there really hurts the Clinton County All-Stars. Brian Goodwin, not naturally. He doesn't do that very often, and he gets a roll on that one. Yeah, I was going to say, he's usually Mr. Money, always there at the end of the game. The three-point line, this game cannot be out of reach, really. There he is again, Steve. Coons. Kyle Coons. Throwing some bodies around in there, clearing out the paint. Down five. Lost a point on that possession. Richie Smith into Goodwin. Everybody's thinking good when each time you go down the court, somebody's got to step up and take the J. Paddock. Leave him alone. Swish. That's going to be hard now. Seven-point lead. They're going to call a timeout. Timeout, Clinton County All-Stars. The score, Boone County All-Stars 76, Clinton County 69.
Steve, while we got a chance right now, why don't we talk a little about Frankfurt ba or baseball? Pardon me. What does it look like for the hot dogs this year? Well, uh, this year we uh, opened our season with a win against 13th ranked Lafayette Jeff, Greg, and uh, so far it looks pretty good. The only question mark being for us right now is the uh, pitching, but other than that, we're solid. Our first seven hitters are very good hitters who can all hit it out of the ballpark. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, are you, are you one of those home run hitters, Steve? Well, I'm third for the hot dogs, and uh, I think that uh, the, if we can uh, keep our, keep our hitting consistent, we can win most of our ball games. We had a little problem. We had mental laps against Lafayette Jeffs, and a couple of errors hurt us, but. If we can keep those mental lapses down to a minimum, I think we can be pretty tough. Hopefully come home with another sectional title this year. Be nice. Sure would. Wish the baseball team good luck for the season. We remind you of the following game. Meadows will be presented to each player. Newton to inbound the ball to Richie Smith. Going to have to shoot a three-pointer here. Everybody will be looking for it. They're playing a 2-3 zone. Pushing it way out. Good one. He, he's stepping out there. Minute and a half to go. You're going to have to shoot. You're down seven. Mr. Newton will shoot. Smith. And Smith took charge right there. He's Brian the Goodwin. Flasher. Went through the 2 3. And steal by Richie Smith. Richie Smith with the one-man zone, and we got a cherry picker, Coons. Coons body blocks. It's going to be a foul. Oh, boy. I don't know if that was going the right way. I think Coons might have got the call. best. It was a good call. But it was a little late. Coons might have lowered that shoulder just a tad. Exactly. You win some, you lose some. When he, and when he's up with you at the end of the game. And when he lowers the shoulder, Greg. One and one here. Be real interesting. Mr. Coons misses this. He did. Oh. I think big it's raining throw. down there big right now, throw. Steve. Big free you see throw. that rainbow he just shot? Okay, Richie Smith three points really there Really put earlier. the arc on there. Seventy-eight, seventy-three. Got to shoot the three-pointer. Good win. Gee! Kaboom! Oh, man! From way uh, out. Fade away. Way out. Oh! Get near the count, Steve. Two-point ball game, 48 seconds. They break it. Oh! Foul. Step. Brian Goodwin hit a three-pointer from 30 feet, fading away, Greg. I think somebody in the bleachers caught him there, Steve. He's <laughs> they're, they're just really fading back away. Kersey was uh, back there holding on to him. 44, four, 44 seconds left in this game. Two-point lead, big free throws for Chris Reese, and they're going to make him think about it, Greg. Good timeout by Coach John Sloggett. Instructing the players right before he gets the ball, call timeout. Brian Goodwin with 21 points. Quiet 21, really. I tell you, he's controlled the boards he's got when 13, he has been in there. 13 fourth quarter points, too. He's really come down to it in the late stages. He's making up for that missed layup and that missed free throw. In a big way, too. If he had made both those, that would have, have had a one-point lead right there, Greg. He got that three-pointer up there in a hurry, and he got nothing but net. been an exciting game so far. Started coming, out kind of slow, but it's picked up. Exactly. Here sloppy play, and the outside shooting wasn't coming around, and all of a sudden, third, fourth quarter, they are heating it up. 78-76. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it has been. Big free throws. Chris Reese has not shot a free throw this game, so... Wondering what his nerves are saying to him right now. I tell you what, that 15 feet probably feels about 20 <laughs> feet right now for Mr. Reese. He's well coached, though. I, I think that uh, if he concentrates, he'll hit these both these free throws. We'll see what happens. Looks like it's going to be a one and one. <laughs> a 
my prediction's been wrong all night, but <laughs> I'll say he'll miss it. Big free throw. Let's, let's see if I'm wrong again, Steve. I was wrong again. <laughs> I think that's uh, been about the only thing I've been right this, about all he's night. He's going to make you know? this one, right? Say so he's going to make this one. I'll offer an answer of no comment on that since I've been wrong all evening. He did. Still plenty of time, Steve. Four-point game. Need a three-point shot right here. They're going to – they're gonna Just need a bucket. Oh, Mr. Newton. Oh, a big shot. Hey, Flint a County. big shot. What a foul. Richie Smith. Puts Mike Van Martyr down on the floor. It'll be a one and one. Unless they call an intentional foul. Now, was he going for the ball? Or not? Yes, he was. He one was. And one. The Boone County half of this crowd didn't like that one bit. They thought he fouled intentionally. Nevertheless, Van Martyr, even if he makes both these, this game's not exactly. out of reach. Exactly. Exactly. Good Big one shot hits, by Newton. Good one hits one, and then Mr. Newton pops from long range. So, I think his three-point lines made this game exciting, Greg. I think Real interesting. A, a flavor of this game that couldn't be without the outside shooting of Newton and Goodwin, along with Richie Smith. He hits them both. They know what they need. 30 seconds to go. They're down by three. Smith to Newton. And there's a steal. And oh, bad pass. Paddock. And they call a foul on Richie Smith. Or pardon me, is it on Reese? Oh, they're going to call an offensive foul. Oh, I don't know about that. I think they might have. I think the, the, one the, and, is that one and one? No, you don't You don't shoot it on an offensive foul, or do you? Uh, the, usually on an offensive foul, if the guy's in the air, they usually let him come down. Richie Smith didn't let him do that, but nevertheless, they called an offensive foul. And the, then the Boone County coaches, all from Zionsville, are not very happy with that one. 19 seconds left. I think we've seen Richie Smith in a pressure situation towards the end of a, of a game before this year, haven't we, Steve? Yes, it came down sectional time, and Richie Smith was there, and he's been here before in this game. And I think, what do you think he's going to do, Greg? Do you think he's going to, like, make the first one and intentionally miss the second one? I or? tell you, Steve, you're asking the wrong guy here. <laughs> It's going to be you, interesting to see what Coach Sloggett has him do. I'll tell you one thing, though. Richie Smith has made some errors tonight, but he's played about as hard as anybody else on that court. Well, I've got nothing for, for, but praise for the Boone County free throw shooting. They've come down, and they've hit them when they've had to, and they've got a three-point lead with only 19 seconds left. I think we'll see a three-pointer... Possibly win the game here. That'd Is be, that wishful thinking, or that'd be something right there if we could like win it out of half quarter? The counters for three, <laughs> like like the Doc did against the hey, Celtics a couple was, weeks ago. That was an unbelievable game. I've heard of pressure players before, but hitting from half court three pointer at the buzzer. The mainstays for tonight have been Jeff Flint with 26 points. Coons and Van Marder has also chipped in 19. And for the Clinton County team, Brian Goodwin has 21, Newton has 17, and Richie Smith has 15. Two big shots here. Hopefully two big shots. One and one. Smith. He hits. He hits. hits. Big free throw. This is a bigger one, Steve. 162 points scored in this ballgame. <laughs> it's been a high-scoring ballgame. One point game now. We've got 19 seconds. And Dickie Royer fouled immediately. They're going to call a two shot foul, I think, right there. Two shot? Slogger can't believe it. Wow. In college, if there's an intentional foul, you get the ball after the free throws, but I don't think that's how it works in high school. Nevertheless, if he makes two of them, this game's still not over with. Coach Sloggett trying to work the refs. Ooh, big free throw. Big one indeed. Not a second went off the clock, though, Steve. Still 19 seconds to go. Anything can happen. 
Second one for Paddock. It's up. He misses. Rebound. Reese. Dickie Royer. They called that one one and one. You have got to block out in a pressure situation like that. Clinton County did not. With two free throws, Chris Reese could single-handedly put this game away. Make it a four-point lead. He's the guy who hit the two to put him up. Good player. He did. And Goodwin rebounds. We've got ten seconds to go. Brian Newton, Richie hey, Smith. Smith. Royer is in. It's a, he ties it. it. One. Buzzer, but we're going to have a foul. And they're going to call one and one. Richie Smith, not a smart foul. I can't believe he's going to call a foul there. Oh. They're going to talk about it. I tell you what. They're going to get they're, in the free throws. Or are they? One and one. And that would be that would be Richie Smith's fifth foul, and he would be gone. Oh, boy. What a break. What a break. Coach Sloggett won an explanation. I don't blame him. Hate to see a game end like this. Not a smart foul if he did, Richie Absolutely Smith. Absolutely hate it. They got lucky. They've been climbing back all night. They just got there. We're going to see an overtime. And now Mr. Paddock's probably going to put it on ice with a free throw. Here it is. Crowd's getting up for this one. And it is game. And that's it right there. No time left. Big free throw. Big indeed. Brent Paddock. That's going to sum it up. This one's just for extra, and he hits it. Both of them, and the final score in a highly contested game. The Boone County All-Stars, 85. The, pardon me, Clinton County All-Stars, 83. An exciting ball game coming down the wire. We thought we were going an extra period right there, but Richie Smith commits the foul. Brent Paddock hits two free throws, and this game's over with. Richie Smith just played his heart out, too, and he really got him back in the game. To the Real shame that happened. Ball players for the winning team, Boone County. Right now we'll go down to the public address for the presentation of the medals. Number four, Dale Kleeman, Western Boone. Number seven, Jeff Linton, Lebanon. Number three, Jeff Zimmerman, Lebanon. Number nine, Mike Wood, Lebanon. Number five, Chris Reese, Lebanon. Number two, Brent Paddock, Zionsville. Number eight, Kyle Coons, Zionsville. Number six, Jay Schultz, Zionsville. Number 10, Mike Van Marder, Zionsville. Coach Charles Jones, Zionsville. Assistant Coach Shane Caldwell, Zionsville. And Ed Hunter of Zionsville. For the Clinton County All-Stars, number, number five, Brad Cook, Clinton Prairie. Number eight, Brian Goodwin, Frankfurt. Number two, Laird Hunt, Clinton Central. Number six, Brad or, sorry, number six, Pat Kersey, Frankfurt. Number nine, Brian Newton, Clinton Central. Number three, Matt Roberts, Clinton Prairie. 
Number 10, Dick Royer, Frankfurt. Number 7, Richie Smith, Clinton Central. Number 4, Lance Spessard, Rossville. Number 11, Steve Wolf, Clinton Prairie. Coach John Sloggett, Clinton Central. Assistant Rex Smith, Clinton Central. Rex Bo Bowman, Clinton Central. Rich Fields, Clinton Central. We'll now draw for the basketball. Where is, the, where is the basketball? That's a good question, I guess. Why don't you pull one out of there? Reach in there, grab, grab down inside and get one. There you go. Pull one out. Thank you. The winning number, 1246399. That's 399. Uh, <laughs> You're kidding me. I, I didn't sell that ticket. Right there. Right there. Uh, would you believe it's my brother? I did not sell the ticket. I I did not pick the ticket. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> We'd like to thank everybody for coming this evening. Next Friday or next Saturday night at Western Boone, we're going to do it again. Uh, I think everybody have to agree these guys put on an excellent ball game tonight. Final score again: 85-83, Boone County All Stars by two. We'll send it over for the final stats to Mark Ransom. Again, Boone County leading field goal percentage, hitting 35 of 66 for 53 percent, with Clinton County hitting 24 of 64 for 37 percent. In free throws, Clinton County leading again, 15 of 23 for 65 percent, to Boone County's 15 of 28 for 50 percent. Rebounds, Clinton County winning that battle, or yeah, Clinton County winning that battle. 32 to 25, with Goodwin having nine, to Boone County's Coons with seven. And turnovers, Clinton County winning again with six, to Boone County's nine. And that's it with stats. Back to you, Greg. Thank you, Mark. Exciting game tonight at Case Arena. I'd like to go over our technical crew again. They all did a fine job. Jay Large was one of our directors tonight, Tony Amick. Tony Snyder. On camera, we had John Jackson, Scott Burdick, Jody Anderson, Charlie Harris. We had Carl Anderson. On the floor camera, Brooke Snyder, Jeff Warren, Jeff Say, and our production assistants. We had Angie Opelt on audio, Pete Clausen on video, electronic graphics. We had Mike Eldridge, and as always, executive producer, Mr. Dale A. Snotty. This is Greg Davis for Steve Warren. As you see the final score, Boone County All-Stars 85, Clinton County 83. This is Sports Voice of Frankfurt High School, CSF Cable Channel 3.